Hi, I'm Pascal Ferrara from Pascal VR, and today I'm going to give you an overview of my new asset, Instant VR Advanced. Uh, I can show you what it can do. I can show you the controller options I've got, uh, how to change avatars, and uh, uh, object grabbing. So what are the possibilities with that, uh, handles, and interactive objects. So what can it do? Well, you can see I already moved my avatar around. I'm using uh, Oculus Rift and Razer Hydra right now. And this has enabled me to walk around and to move my arms and grab and look at options, uh, objects. For instance, just too far. I can pick up this sword and uh, manipulate all kinds of objects with that, and come to, come to that later on. Uh, but besides using the Rift and uh, Razer Hydra, many other people do not have uh, all these options available, but you can still enable them to uh, play with your game. Because now I just unplugged uh, my devices, and now I have a box simple uh, setup. Um, and actually, if I restart the game now, uh, I'm not lo uh, no longer having a, a stereoscopic setup, but a, a plain, simple mouse keyboard setup. And it still enables me to pick up objects when I'm close enough. So this is an alternative way of in, uh, moving your avatar around. So a mouse look is used for moving the head, and it also enables you to walk around and animations or procedural animation is used to grab and to let go objects. A third option is using the Xbox controller. So I'm plugging it in right now, activating it, hopefully. Yes, there it is. Now I'm restarting again. Still normal uh, setup, but now I can look around using my right thumbstick and do the same things I, as I can do with uh, the, oh, the keyboard mouse controller, but now with the Xbox controller input. So these are the basic three uh, options. You can mix them around, so you can also use the Oculus Rift in combination with the Xbox controller, and providing your, uh, your gamers uh, with the best uh, options available. Um, so in this case, I'm uh, using a default uh, avatar for um, for my demo, but you can easily replace it by your own avatar. For this purpose, I've downloaded some uh, avatars from the Unity S store, some free at, uh, ones. So uh, we're all familiar with the robot Kyle, of course. So now I go back to my hier hierarchy, and here you see the instant VR normal asset. I also have uh, a reduced. Uh, avatar with less bones, so that's uh, quicker in uh, in uh, situations where more performance is needed. Uh, but now I'm using the normal variant. You can see uh, it contains targets. Uh, the, these are five targets: the neck, the left, the right, and the foot targets. I'm not look looking into them this time, but I'm concentrating on this game object, which is actually the avatar itself. If you want to re uh, replace that, you just remove the avatar and replace that by another avatar. And now you can see it already in the scene, it's there. But it won't work di directly because Robert Kyle is not using Mechanum at this moment. So I have to change that in my rig settings. So here you can see the rig settings. Animation type is legacy. I need to change that into humanoid because then uh, it will get all the bones which are uh, necessary to drive uh, the avatar around. Now I go back to my scene, play it, and you can see Robert Kyle is doing the same things as my other avatar can do. I can also pick up objects as I look at them. I'm close enough. Oh no, that's one thing. If you want to pick up objects, you need to add colliders to the hands. So colliders, are the, uh, the, the normal setup uh, provides a number of colliders automatically, so they are added to your avatar. 
with the exception of the hands, because the hands are actually um, uh, so different for every avatar, you have to add them manually. So, for example, in this middle finger, uh, probably you, most of the time use the second joint. I can now add uh, a box collider or a capsule. I Right now I have problems with the capsule collider in some cases, but it's, I do use them in this case. So the default one is a bit big, so I close, uh, make it smaller, and always tricky with the axis, so this seems to be the right axis. The height, about 5 centimeters, well, it can be more, I think, in this case. Yeah, x-axis, so move it a bit forward. The radius is quite small. So now I have added uh, a collider to the finger, which is automatically used then to pick up objects. So you can see it moving around. Uh, I might need to add another one on the thumb to pick up the object properly. Yeah. So you need to rig the hand, uh, which is already done with the default uh, avatars, and then you can pick up uh, pick up objects. Uh, well, you can use Kyle, and for another example, I got the female character pack. I just picked Joan. How does she look like? Oh, she's quite cute. Um, again, this is not a mechanism. Uh, avatar, so I need to change the rig from legacy to humanoid, otherwise it won't move. And now I can walk around being Joan. Okay, here we have another interesting object, the gun. Can I pick it? Oh no, I can't pick it uh, up because I didn't add the colliders. Um, I will come to that uh, later on. Um, object grabbing. When you use the Razor Hydra, you have full control of your hands and you can pick up uh, actually any, any object uh, you want. But if you don't, uh, you need the, the, the animations to pick up objects and those are only used for uh, objects with handles. So you can see the yellow blocks in the environment. These are actually pre-configured -pre handles on, on uh, various objects. So if I go to the sword, you can see the sword in the inspector. Oh, wait. Here's the sword. It has a handle, hand handle uh, script attached to it. This enables us two things. Um, it's a target for grabbing objects, so uh, when I'm using mouse or um, Xbox controller, uh, I, it can find the objects which can be picked up. Besides that, it also defines the position in which the, the, the object can be grabbed. So for instance, when I uh, grab the, uh, the, the sword, uh, in, in the proximity of the, of the handle, it will automatically uh, snap to the right position and the rotation uh, uh, like a sword should, should, should be. So let's see if I can demonstrate that using oops, the Hydra, which I plug in, plug in now again. It's a bit awkward with all those devices in this demo. Uh, so, it, it, it also in the case of the Razor Hydra, when you grab it in the, in the proximity of the, the handle, then it will snap to the right po uh, position. Um, the sensitivity is de defined by the range, which is set to 0.2 or about 20 centimeters. So when you're uh, grabbing it in the range of 20 centimeters, it will snap automat automatically, which is a very good... Uh, setting for using it. Okay, um, I 
just replace it with my default av uh, avatar again because that will have the colliders. So that's basically what. Uh, if you want to set up the, uh, the your environment, it, it, it's basically like this. Uh, what I did. So I uh, at this moment I have a scene with just. Uh, the grocery store, which is just a, st a static environment, and I have a number of objects and a light and a terrain. So it's a, ba a very basic uh, setup. And if you want to turn that environment into uh, uh, an interactive virtual re uh, reality environment, it's just basically getting the Instant VR advanced prefabs and dragging them into your scene. So now it's not at the right position because it's behind the wall. So I move it in the right position, turn it around, and then it should work, hopefully. Okay, there we are. I plugged in the Razor Hydra. Oh, should be calibrated, and now you can see and this time I'm using it without uh, the, the rift, but I'm still, uh, it's still possible to use it. So now my red, red thumbstick is, uh, is used for looking around. So here I have uh, the sword, and when I grab it, you see it snaps to the right position. Oops, my laptop is in the way. <laughs> huh? That's the, the point of, of using uh, using the handles. Um, I could also grab it at a different point. So if I put it like this, and I grab it outside the range of the handle, I can still pick it up, hopefully, because it's now very close to the... Very cl That's actually the capsule collider going into the the scene, and that makes it very difficult now to, to grab it. But if I grab the, the, the object outside the handle, you can still p pick it up, um, but it won't snap anymore. So, hmm. Actually, I have to grab it inside the table. Okay, here you can see it. Now I grab it at a different point, and it doesn't snap because that's out of, uh, outside the range of the uh, 20 centimeters I have uh, configured. Okay, so now uh, I will walk through the, the gun. So through the entrance, so here's my gun. Uh, the gun also has a handle, and uh, so I can, uh, I can grab it. Uh, it's like this. And then you can see that now my right, right hand follows the look direction, so it enables me to to uh, to shoot in direction in the direction at where, which I'm looking at. So this is non-standard behavior. No st standard behavior behavior is just that uh, the, the the hands will stay in the default position, like you see see it now. So therefore. To get this behavior, we have here we have the gun. I can have added a handgun controller to the gun, which uh, enables me to follow the orientation of the looking. So here we go to the script. So this is the handgun controller. It has uh, two events. When it is grabbed, then it will uh, get cold, so you can do some initialization uh, stuff. Uh, I need to know, so, uh, for example, the direction which I am looking at, so I'm using the net neck target for that. And I'm also using the forearm to uh, make it uh, sway around uh, in, a, in a nice way. I set the grabbed boolean to true, so now my update script can then um, detect that the, the, uh, the gun has been grabbed by a hand. And I set 
with some uh, magic uh, things. Uh, the lo uh, location, uh, the the orientation of the hand controller uh, to the direction which I'm looking at, based on the next target orientation. And then, if I pull the input bumper, which is uh, you can find on my on my website, with which to which buttons it is mapped in the case of the Xbox and the mouse and so on. But basically this is, uh, this is the trigger finger uh, most of the times. Uh, left mouse button, uh, right uh, bumper or uh, the right bumper on the Razer Hydra. So uh, when I press the, press the bumper and I'm not already shooting, so the first time I trap uh, I, I uh, pull the, uh, the bumper, then actually I'm not, not uh, now just doing a log entry uh, in the console saying bang, but you can uh, insert your own effects and uh, other rate costs uh, 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 functionality to detect which object you are shooting at and so on. So this is just an example script demonstrating you how you can influence the, 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 the behavior of your hands and uh, objects when an object has been grabbed. So, this is about the conclusion of the whole uh, thing. Uh, so I can I show you um, how easy it is to create virtual environments uh, by just dragging the prefab from my my uh, uh, from my package into your scene. It will create a, an interactive environment for you. Uh, with full avatar control, I can I've showed you uh, that it can use the Rift, it can use the Razer Hydra Xbox controller and uh, mouse keyboard at this moment. More are planned to be added uh, in the you know, coming year, uh, month. Um, uh, I've shown you how you can change avatars. And I show you how uh, object grabbing works and how you can extend that to include your own uh, interactive behavior. Okay, thank you for your attention, and I hope you will uh, visit my site soon.